the boys in, in, in the locker room, they said, we're not, don't worry, coach, we're not losing this. The 2,000 fans screaming and cheering and stomping in the bleachers, we're not going to let that happen tonight. The stands were packed. The competition was incredible. And in the end, FC Tucson celebrated with its fans at Keno Sports Complex following a hard-fought 1-0 victory against the Vancouver Whitecaps. We talked about our corner kicks the whole game, and we said how dangerous we were, and we make some really hard runs to the front post. The service was unbelievable, and we kept saying every chance we got, it's coming, it's coming. It's, it's the last second of the game. Any any soccer player's dream to score in the last minute goal to take your team to the finals. Uh, um, I just took the chance. I'm not really one of the biggest guys on the team, but I said I'm going to make that first run in the near post, and I'm just going to put my head into it. Sebastian got on the end of it as his first header of the year. <laughs> no better time. Best thing in the world to, for these fans, and my family came down to see me, and for, my, for the players that just gave their heart out today, it was awesome. FC Tucson dominated the second half as Ricardo Velasco had great looks on goal. Although the local product couldn't quite find the back of the net, it is ironic he served up the corner on that game-winning goal. Yeah, it's very ironic. Like you said, I like the ball. I demand the ball all the time. That's just my personality, and I'm very, I do get frustrated when I don't get the ball, but, I mean, we got the job done, so it really didn't matter who scored it. Friday's crowd was not at record numbers, but one could argue it was the most passionate in FC Tucson history. That, of course, led to the outcome, but players and coaches say they're hoping for more on Saturday night. It was huge, it was huge, but tomorrow it's more important that we get even more out here. I'm hoping that we can get a, another 1,000 or so, maybe we get 3,000 out tomorrow night because this place is rocking.